Our first stop is at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, where Todd Still, Youth Education Director, is in his 13th year. Currently on display is the middle school exhibit called Taking Shape. We had a video conference recently with Todd and asked him how it all began. There was always a request to be able to showcase uh, the children's work from the Pinellas County Schools, uh, but we didn't have the gallery space. So it was in 2010 in one of our main major expansions where we added a um, more studio space, a dark room, et cetera, we were able to add um, a, a dedicated gallery space for the kids. And so um, we were able to do the elementary school exhibits, the middle school and the high school exhibits, plus um, some other exhibits like featuring the Dunedin schools and that kind of thing. Because of COVID-19, uh, this pandemic that's raging across our, our planet right now, um, the DFAC it has been closed um, and our, our exhibition reception was scheduled for the end of March, but was canceled for obvious reasons. Um, the, your your uh, Dunning Fine Arts Center has responded by going virtually with this exhibition. Can you tell us more about what happened and what this is all about? Well, uh, we have a, on our website a, a page called The Art of Social Distancing, where we're featuring adult interest type things where exhibits, classes, workshops, that kind of thing. Um, and then we have the kids stuff, which has some activities. It has a cool video of the dinosaurs uh, in the stop motion machine in the kids area coming to life at night and getting into a little PT cruiser and driving through all the galleries. Uh, fighting over the radio station. So it's really kind of a fun thing. Um, what happened with the, the Taking Shape exhibit was we were able to get it actually up and installed in the galleries. We did have some people who were able to come in and enjoy and see it, but like you said, we had to close down, we closed actually a little bit earlier, middle of March, and um, which unfortunately that's what we really look forward to is the receptions and, and the, res the smiling faces and the proud parents and the proud children and students. So um, it's greatly affected it. And I think um, it's kind of challenging for us because we, we do face to face. Um, the art center really doesn't do online because it's that personal interaction and I think the Zoom is great, but you still do lose something without not having the person in the room with you where you can see their artwork and get feedback and have that kind of interaction. Uh, how many artworks are in this uh, Taking Shape Middle School exhibition? Uh, 72. Okay, 72. 72 pieces, um, and it is, it is strictly the middle schools. And I think uh, the awards, um, there's maybe five different schools, one, two, three, four, five, five different schools that had students that um, re received the artistic merit or the honorable mention. And then how are, how are the awards decided? Um, well, it varies from exhibit to exhibit. Um, usually what we do is we have our curator of exhibits. Um, she will uh, select the winners, um, sometimes um, her assistant curator uh, he might, um, I've had my assistant who is, has more experience in like the early childhood uh, backgrounds uh, and also with um, our weekend assistant who's working on her art degree. Sometimes they tag team it, um, usually because I'm involved in uh, the selection process to some degree. I usually don't um, do that uh, because I was part of selecting to begin with. So trying to get somebody that, that has the artistic background and the eye. And it's really difficult because all of them are award winners. And on any given day, you could walk in and go, well, these six should be the winners. And then the next day you could go in and say, well, these six should be the winners. And, you know, so it, it's really, it's really tricky. It is, and uh, e even before uh, you get to, you know, select, um, you know, the, rema the remainder of the show, we have four art teachers uh, here in Pinellas that, that look through all of the uh, entries by art teachers, middle school art teachers, and they, they score them on a four-point holistic rubric, and the ones that you get to see are highest um, rated or scored works, so we're looking at like fours and threes, and I can, I can see how challenging it is to, to pick awards for the show. Well, and I think, I think you've said it in the past too, that basically being selected to be in the exhibit, you are an award winner. 
basically. Um, we do put them in frames that are glass and they have the lighting. So they're being shown in a, in a formal gallery setting with gallery exhibit signage and such. So it is, a, it is a big deal for them to be able to see their work in that kind of space. And now they get to see it uh, on, your, um, on the Dunneen Fine Arts Center's website. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll make sure we provide a link uh, to that uh, so that um, anybody interested can come uh, visit online virtually and see the, uh, the works. Mm -hmm.